Hi, welcome back. Glad you could join me. Uh, this is uh, Alexander Sebastian talking to you on Parents as Partners. And today we're going to be discussing something that uh, is very dear to me, and that is the topic of family cultures. You know, you go into a person, um, to a family's house, and you get a, each family has its own feeling in that house, uh, levels of communication, you can see how the house is organized, um, and you get a feeling for the relationship that's going on in uh, each house, and each one is different. Uh, each member is contributing their element to the family, and all together they come, they make um, an understanding of what's acceptable and uh, how people should treat each other, and uh, all this together is uh, what I call a, a family culture. Uh, a culture, as described by uh, Miriam Webster in the dictionary, is, uh, and I'm going to quote, the set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterize an institution or an organization. Now, your family qualifies to be, uh, is an, certainly an organization, and uh, when the parents come together in the beginning and they bring their joint values in and slowly they, these two uh, marry together into one common culture of the family and the children come in and they add uh, an element too because people are tolerant, they make space for new members coming in and uh, you come out with a, a family culture. But very few families think about that or verbalize it, talk about it and um, evaluate whether this family culture is something that they're proud of and that they want to keep as is or they want to tweak it to push each member in that family to become uh, the best he or she can be. Uh, <clears throat> so as parents we need to lead this uh, movement in our family to uh, first be aware of uh, what is the family of value and culture in that in your family and then to uh, try to improve it and make it the best you can and something that you're proud of. The reason that this is so important is because this family culture is the uh, ambiotic fluid in which your children spend the, uh, the very most informative formative part of their lives, huh? 20 years growing up within the in the same uh, atmosphere uh, which has underlying, holds the underlying principles of what is good and what's not good, uh, levels of respect uh, that people deserve, um, uh, whether it's one, a culture of work and achievement or one of entertainment. Uh, so this is, it's a very important element for your children and probably a lot more important than anything you can tell them is the way the family lives. This is the message that will stick with your children and they will take it in into their families. Especially if you have an expat family in which you bring two cultures together to form a, a new culture and then your culture is influenced by the cultures that you're living in, the host country's cultures. And uh, <clears throat> one of the obvious things in our family is uh, we had a North American and European culture of walking around with shoes in the house oblivious to all the uh, dirt we were bringing in and uh, extra cleaning that we were causing ourselves and when we moved to Asia uh, this became obvious to us that uh, for, a, uh, for a cleaner home um, and it's just simpler and easier to take your shoes off at the door. Uh, we feel more comfortable and of course we're not dragging all that uh, um, dirt from the outside in much cleaner and we can put, put our feet up and, uh, and uh, a lot less wear and tear on the furniture, etc. This is just one of the, a small example though. Uh, when we go to restaurants here, we see families, uh, on, entire families, four or five people coming in, sitting down, immediately taking out their phones and each person will spend the whole time at the restaurant, not even savoring their food, but in their own little worlds on the phone. And this strikes us here and we've uh, decided this is not something that we want to do in our family and uh, so we put a, a prohibition of any gadgets at the table uh, whether we're at home or uh, outside and especially outside. Huh? So <clears throat> the third 
So as a, an expat family, um, you want to bring in what you can from the outside, keep what each of your uh, the spouses bring in from that they think is important in raising the family and their family culture. And uh, of course, as I, we mentioned before, your children are going to bring in elements and uh, make space for them. Okay, if you're going to be mindful about having a family culture, you first have to be aware of what is your family culture now, because there is definitely one. So you need to do an audit on what your family culture is. Take a look on uh, uh, what happens when, you f when one family member meets another family member. Do they, do they recognize each other? Do they say hello? Do they, do they give hugs? Um, in, in many cultures, hugging is, has died out or hasn't existed for many generations. But um, it's something that you can, if you like it and you want to install it in your family, hugging each other and, or just putting a hand on your shoulder and saying, hi, how are you? And looking at each other, uh, that might be something you want to do. I'm not, maybe it isn't something you want to do, but you need to take an audit of what your family culture is. That's the first thing. Just uh, is it, it, what level of messiness can you tolerate in your family? Uh, how is the work shared? Uh, are people encouraging? Is violence accepted in your family? Uh, evil verbal or uh, physical violence? Uh, uh, do, or is it a culture where people are encouraged to encourage each other and to make space for, for growth and uh, um, congratulate them and point it out and uh, um, raise a glass of cheer at, um, at the evening table marking people's successes, uh, 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 even ordinary successes, huh? small ones. Picking up the guitar every day, if that's what someone said they were going to do at, at New Year's, pick up the guitar every day and learn the guitar, okay, that's, that's good. Cleaning up the room, uh, doing the dishes, when you, someone takes a dish out and not just leave it in the sink for someone else to do. These small things need to be marked and congr congratulated. It can be as simple as putting the toilet seat down and turning the light off. But uh, celebrate little achievements during the year. So in order to make a, an audit, take out a piece of paper. I know when you say this to your family, okay, we're going to make a family audit. Everybody's going to go, oh, no, not another one of dad's ideas or mom's ideas. But take it out. Ask them for 15 minutes of their time. Put those categories down that uh, what we mentioned uh, that, uh, earlier in Webster's definition, and I will quote those again. So the categories uh, of a culture include a set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices. So write that across the top of your sheet. What are your values, your goals, your practices, uh, your personal interactions? Uh, put those across the top of the sheet and just write some comments. Ask each person around the table. So what do you think the values of this family are? Uh, what do you, f ask the children, what do you feel like your parents uh, give you as a model? And uh, what do you think they reinforce in the children uh, when they are successful? Do they give more emphasis to academics or to sports or um, to being polite, uh, assuming the chores in the household, feeding the cat? Uh, where do they get their praise from and what's valued in that family? So fill up that, uh, let the kids write in what they want, uh, no judgment, no criticism, just let them write down. Uh, there'll be some goofing off, that's good, okay, let them goof off, that's fun. Uh, as long as you get that audit so that at the end you can have something, you have it down on paper, something you can look at and say, yeah, this represents honestly who we are as a family and uh, what we encourage and maybe an idea of where we're going. Okay, once you get the audit, and that's not an easy thing to get down, once you start this process, then you need to look at it as a family and say, is this, are we proud of this? Is this uh, what we can say stands for us and this is what we want to, to keep or do we want to make changes? Uh, if you want to make changes or additions, what are the things that you would, would make you even more proud as a family to say, this is who we are, and share it with others? Uh, uh, 
so put the, draw a line down at the bottom what you wrote and say okay this is what we like you can circle what you like in one color circle what you're not so proud of another another and you'll have divergence in your family some will say no this is okay others will say no this isn't okay we need to have this conversation have it out and and identify it then draw a line under that and put uh, what would you like see more to see more of is the word charity anywhere on there helping out neighbors helping out those who are not quite as fortunate fortunate is the environment is the word environment on there that we take we do our share in being environmentally responsible uh, we do our separation of the garbage uh, we walk when we can uh, we take public transportation we think about when we're going on vacation is the uh, what's the foot carbon foot, footprint this is going to leave um, we don't have to suffer but we need to think about it and we need to be uh, safe in little ways and if everybody does of course it's a better place for the world okay so once you have your audit and then uh, you've had you've done your evaluation uh, and you've crystallized it in this into some kind of statement about who you are <clears throat> and you've looked at uh, what you want to add then write down a new list and say this is what the Alexander family is or this is what the Schwartz family is we believe in and then write down what are your values um, what are your work ethics uh, how do you see the world how do you what do you owe strangers and when someone comes into your house what would you like them to say uh, when they return back to their family and say this is the Sebastian family and this is how they act and this is what I can see when I when I go into that family so once you've written your new statement cultural statement down of what you want your family to be then you need to implement that uh, are there things that you can do as, uh, with each other within your house within your family to create an environment uh, that will advance the cultural values that you fam that you want your family to have i'm sure there are i know there are in my family so you need to have act an action plan with specific steps that you will do to promote these uh, enhanced values in your family such as greeting such as each one more responsibility uh, parents don't don't be shy about giving your children responsibility. You're not giving them only responsibility. You're giving them a path to learn how to be uh, more responsible in their own lives. Huh? And that's, that's our obligation. Huh? So one, <clears throat> make that list down and then try to implement that in your um, daily life. I think that uh, you'll be proud of this quiet, ongoing effort. It's never done. Uh, you might want to take this and revisit it in, in uh, a year and two years I would suggest uh, photocopying that uh, list in the end and put it on the refrigerator door so we have a, a mission statement for the family this is what we stand for and this is what we do uh, it's a good idea to have be held accountable to what we say we're going to do and, and for our values so put it on your refrigerator and refrigerator door give each person a copy they can put it in their uh, baby books and look at back on it because they'll Hopefully, they will be going, your children will be going through this same process with their families down the road. Okay, I think if, this is an important thing to have a statement of who we are and where we're going and what we're trying to do. And um, I think it changes lives a little bit at a time, makes us better people, and uh, ultimately makes the world a better place. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, new episode in Parents uh, as Partners and uh, identifying your family's culture and uh, improving on it and making the world a better place for our families, for ourselves, and uh, for everybody. Thanks a lot for listening in. Catch you next time. Alexander Sebastian signing off. Bye-bye.